An island among islands sits in the Atlantic, removed from this modern world. A devil's isle, feared by sailors. Its reefs, a watery graveyard for ships. Sailors cried, Oh, I have suffered with those I saw suffer. A brave vessel dashed all to pieces. A sea venture, a tempest smashed men to its shore. Eden discovered was changed forever. One man reached back centuries to recreate a lost world. On this tiny island, a last hope for a seabird. Seabirds live as mysteriously as the islands on which they nest. Spending most of their lives over the open ocean, they return to land only to breed. Remote, unpopulated islands are their havens. Bermuda lies 700 miles off the coast of North Carolina and is famous for its pink beaches and luxurious resorts. Hidden from most people among the Castle Harbour Islands is Nonsuch Island. For the past 40 years, Nonsuch has been home to a most remarkable man. Dr. David Wingate has been working on this once barren island to create a home for one of the world's rarest seabirds. The Bermuda petrel, or Cajo, was thought to have been extinct for almost 400 years. Nonsuch, meaning unparalleled or without equal, was named after the famous Tudor Palace in Surrey, England. During the American Civil War, Nonsuch was a quarantine hospital for yellow fever and in the early 20th century it served as a reform school. The island was eventually abandoned because of lack of a harbour, but an event took place that turned around the whole future of the island with the discovery of the Cahau. A fledgling Cahau struck St David's Lighthouse over here in 1935, and it was taken to Dr William Beebe, who was based on Nonsuch Island at the time, and he didn't know what it was, uh, so he sent it up to the World Authority on Seabirds, Dr. Robert Cushman Murphy at the American Museum, who uh, announced that this was a, not only was it a cow, uh, but it had down on the plumage proving that they was, must be still nesting somewhere in Bermuda. And uh, that was what decided him to launch a search expedition. But sadly, the Second World War intervened, and uh, in that period, half of the Castle Harbour Islands were destroyed, and Cooper's Island here was connected up to St David's by dredged fill. The Bermuda petrel or Caja was thought to have been nesting on these islands, which were developed in order to build an airport. Another cahau washed ashore dead on the beach at Cooper's Island, making it all look increasingly improbable that the birds had survived that final traumatic event. But Murphy finally came down in 1951. I was a schoolboy at that time, about 15 years old, but becoming interested in birds. And uh, Louis Mowbray, who was the other member of the team uh, with Murphy, um, told Murphy about me and uh, asked if it would be all right if I came along because I might be useful scrambling up cliffs to search some of the nest sites. And Murphy said, sure, bring the boy along. And so I was lucky enough to be there uh, on this island when Murphy and Mowbray pulled the cahau out of a deep burrow and held it up to the world. And I remember Murphy's exclamation, by gad, the cahau. 